Welcome everybody back to our channel. This is AM Vintage and for those who do not know us, I am Adi and this is Adam. And today we are excited to show you our toy collection. We're going to be showing you toys from the decades of the 70s, somewhere from the 50s and 60s, am I correct? Yeah. And all the way to the early 90s. So if you're ready for our adventure, then let's pretend it's 1992 because nothing in here is past 1992. And we're going to take a little tour. It's going to be fun. I'm even going to put on some uh, Avon aftershave just to get it started. Hold on. It needs to smell oh. like it's 1992. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So if you're ready like we are. Burnt my nose hairs. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. me everybody the Waltons comes out in five minutes and I'm not getting any reception but I forgot about the tour let's get back to the tour let me turn this off well what do we got over here we got the TV that's not uh, getting any reception and if you got a little TV like this you better hook it up to your Atari system right so we got our Atari system and we got some games what kind of games do we got in here let's take a little look you got to have Pac-Man, and you got to have Frogger, and you have to have Space Invaders, right? Give me a break. You don't have Space Invaders? Come on. I'm going home. You don't have Space Invaders. There you go. Atari. The staple of the 80s. And then we have our little VHS collection right here. And I'll tell you what. If you're going to have an 80s VHS collection, you better have Weird Science. Right? Come on. This guy's brother was ridiculous, wasn't he? Give me a break. Give me a break. Sounds sounds familiar, doesn't it? What do we got over here? You got to have Revenge of the Nerds, right? We got Revenge of the Nerds, Ruthless People, Indiana Jones. Okay? So there we got uh, our little uh, entertainment from the 80s. And uh, if your electricity goes out, then you play with these wild puppets up here. The ventriloquist dolls. Aren't these fun? They're not scary at all, people. Come on. These are fun. We got uh, Howdy Doody, right? We got Bozo the Clown right here. This is uh, Mortimer Schmurr. So we got these guys. Isn't that, isn't that exciting? Okay. But let's go below the television and see what we have down here, people. Why we have some Tupperware. Isn't this exciting? Hold on. Yeah, we got some grape Kool-Aid. Let me bring it over there. Everybody had their grape Kool-Aid in this, didn't they? Give me a break. It's, it's ridiculous. So there's the little Tupperware collection. Uh-oh. What am I kneeling down next to? It's my old buddy, Lionel Richie. Looks like he's dancing on the ceiling. We'll just put that back in there with our little 45 collection. Okay? But, you know what? If your record player breaks, you're going to need something else. Come on over here. What do we got? Oh, we got some cassette tapes. You got a little John Cougar? Is this John Cougar Mellencamp or John Cougar? I don't know. Who else do we got in here? Uh-oh. We got Joe Jackson. We got Salt and Peppa. Come on, give me a break. It's getting ridiculous in here. Okay, everybody. I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to send this on over to Mari, and she's going to show you something crazy, and you're going to love it. Crazy, Adam? You mean, oh, wow. We actually have a great McDonald's collection. As you can see, we have a lot of glass um, glasses that were from the early 80s. And some of them actually extended to other characters, such as the ones down here, where we have Garfield 
Um, it looks like we have some Snoopy and some Muppets. We also had these little, little, what do you call these, Adam? The little cars that they would come in, such as the Happy Meals that we would get. Little um, Happy Meal toys. Yeah, which is pretty cool. But I think also, Adam, what I did like about this collection are these old McDonald's glasses that you got. Well, they're not glasses, they're cups, right? Coffee cups. Do you have information on those? I just say they're coffee cups and they come with a little uh, sticky thing that you would put in your car. So that it didn't slide off. Oh, those are pretty cool. And the fact that they're plastic, too. I know nowadays probably things are not the same because, you know, people get burned <laughs> with the foam and stuff. Okay. I think also we have, Adam, are these... The plates. McDonald plates, which are pretty cool. I like these. Pretty nice pictures. I'm going to actually just show everyone which ones we have that we've collected so far. This one's pretty cool. This is Ronald McDonald saves this hot summer day. Very which is cool. pretty cool. Then we have a looks like a little holiday plate. Very nice. The hamburger get this glare out of there. Oh yeah, are you getting it? No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Again, this one would be perfect to have for the fall weather. And then we have these. This one's a later 80s. Yeah, looks like it. This one's more of a, ooh, 1989. 89. The McNugget van, which is pretty cool. Very exciting. And I yeah, think we have a member. We do. Don't we have the little we nuggets? We have a member of the McNugget band down here. <laughs> we sure do. I think he's right on the, the little corner there. How about our little uh, metal plaque? Oh, this is pretty cool, you guys. We actually found this a while back, and it's this. for... Los Angeles, 1984. The Olympics. Third Olympic, which Very is pretty cool. awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think I saw a Goodwill sticker on there. You sure did. Adam, you want to give us a little info on how we find our treasures? We get a lot of stuff at the Goodwill. <laughs> we sure. So please don't discount the Goodwill. So you'll be finding lots of good things. All right. Yeah. Thanks for showing us that. You're welcome. I think I'm going to show something uh, that I enjoy next. Okay. Sounds great. Okay, everybody. We're in uh, my, well, one of my favorite parts of the, the little toy collection because these are some toys that I played with when I was a kid. The Pee Wee's Playhouse playset. This was one of my favorite toys. The playset is in the box. I'm sorry, we can't take it out and show it to you, but you can see what it looks like here. And here's the talking Pee Wee, of course. And what happened to these talking peewees? Everybody knows what happened to them, right? Peewee talks way too fast. <laughs> you got to kind of hold the string. Yeah, sorry, you guys. Made you look. That one sounds a little rough, Adam. Yeah, Peewee kind of got a little worn out over the years, didn't he? How about Billy Baloney? This is uh, Peewee's little buddy, Billy Baloney. Hey, everybody. It's me, Billy Baloney. <laughs> You know what, Adam? Actually, I was a little uh, creeped out when he would come out with Pee Wee. <laughs> I really didn't care for him. <laughs> I love Billy Baloney, but I love ventriloquist dolls. Mm -hmm. so. And here's a Pee Wee Herman ventriloquist doll. Isn't that cool? Yes. I didn't have this when I was a kid. You know, I wanted to get this, and then they pulled all the Pee Wee stuff off the shelves. So uh, I never wow. got to get it when I was a kid. Yeah. How about uh, Talking Beetlejuice? Isn't that cool? It's pretty awesome. My brother Josh had one of these when we were kids, and I broke his head. Yes, and who's <laughs> waiting for part two? I'm sure everybody's ready to see that one. I'm Hopefully, excited come next, for Beetlejuice next part year. Two. That should be awesome. Okay, moving on from Beetlejuice, which we're all excited about. How about Rocky Three? Check out these guys. We got Mr. T. We got Rocky. We got Apollo Creed, and we got uh, Hulk Hogan. What was his name in Rocky III? I, I can't remember. remember. <laughs> it's been a while, so if you guys know, please leave it in the comments. We like to remember. I do not know. When I was a kid, I, I remember getting these Rocky III dolls, brand new, mm -hmm. and opening, opening them up in the back of our station wagon. So oh, that's gosh. pretty exciting. Do you remember when we would be able to ride behind? You ride in the back of the station <laughs> no, wagon. No, no seatbelts or anything. Like a, it was like a carnival ride. It was okay. exciting, right? <laughs> yes. So yeah, here's some little Pee Wee characters, right? We yeah. got Cherry, 
We got uh, Cowboy Curtis, mm -hmm. the King of Cartoons, Conky, Globy, the little band here. What was his name? Randy, mm -hmm. right? Is that Randy? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Very exciting. And then back here we have a talking doll from the 80s, Julie the talking doll. Oh, cool. So Julie's in the box. We can't take her out. No. And I do want to mention, Adam, that if the viewers really want to see what the playset looks like, I think we did a short on it. We did a short when yeah, we dedicated we one the playset on and for Pee Wee, you correct? Right after Pee Wee passed. We yes. Did a, yeah. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free to, you know, look in our video selection and we do have you'll short... find it in there somewhere yes it's pretty awesome you might have to dig far we we have a few videos in there so <laughs> yes underneath we have the princess of power castle in the box when i was a kid my brothers i think had the uh he-man castle and the skeletor and for some reason i got the princess of power oh, castle Isn't no shira <laughs> no she well shira Shira is is the princess of power i thought it was for some reason, it looks different. No, no. She-Ra. Look. Oh, wow, she you guys. Look at that. I and, even forgot. Yeah. I don't remember her looking that way, but you know what? That's She-Ra. Again, they're cartoons, I guess. Yeah. And then here's... Uh, Taking me back, Adam. Her little horse. This oh, is pretty... Or is that a unicorn? I want to say it's a unicorn. But ne what's next to uh, the unicorn? Look at this awesome doll that we found. Not this little guy. He's pretty cool, though. He's cool. But look at this little... Roller skating girl. Isn't she awesome? I think Adam is, is in love with this little girl. <laughs> this is uh, one of my favorites. Look at that. Who doesn't love a nice pair of roller skates? Like I know. This? That's so cool. Now that is really retro right there. They got the little roller skates. She's got her little shorts on. She's ready to skate. She's ready. She's going to go. She's going to skate over and get herself a soft pretzel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're so. taking me back to my roller skating days. I hope you enjoyed this little corner. Yeah. And uh, your roller skating days were about two months ago when we went roller skating. So <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Well, I guess but, I got to uh, go back. <laughs> you got to go back. We all got to go back. We got to go back. And you guys got to go back. When's the last time you went roller skating? All right. Get, get out there. Do the things you used to do. Come on. As long as we're not breaking any bones, right? We're not getting it. <laughs> well, it could happen. It could happen. Well, we're going to move on from this corner. Yes. And I'm going to have Mari show you something else. Take it away, Mari. All right. Hey, guys. Well, I think I thought I'd show you my favorite of the toy collection, only because I grew up with these dolls. If you remember the Cabbage Patch, well, I don't think I was fortunate enough to get one or own one uh, at that time. But my dad managed to get me a hug -a bunch So I actually had this when I was a little girl. My daughter, I have such a cute little short story time, but my daughter actually found this one a few years ago for me. And um, yeah, it brought me back to my childhood days. So if you like the hug a bunch, um, yeah, we got, we actually found this one. When was this, Adam? Probably a few months ago. We correct? found this like, one, yeah. I think, online. Did yeah. we order that one online? We might have ordered it online, or I thought maybe we found it in an antique store, but I'm not sure. Okay, um, one or the but other. Yeah. But this is so cute. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have the babies that came with it. So I'm still looking forward to We're getting We're looking her, for the babies. They came ones. with little babies. Yes, but so cute. Yeah. Look at their eyes. Look at the green Such eyes green on this eyes. one. That was, the, that was it. They were oh, eyes got this sold. This one the blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, they're so beautiful. And they're nice and hug. I mean, that's probably why they're called a hug a bunch kid. Because what's, they what's, were. What's underneath? What is this right this here? This is actually, oh, remember this one, guys? It's actually what the snow the what is it the glow, glow worm. worm yes i well, had a green one we remember the green one and this one we actually just found we found this few one months ago which i'm not really familiar with this one although i've seen it i just think i just remember so much the green one yeah it was just more popular i guess probably but this one's time. exciting yes and this cool little dude well we just found him and we thought he was cool because he had the class of 84 on him and we ended up searching actually doing a little research and yeah he actually was produced in that year so i thought it was awesome and he's just kind of like a munchie chi right yeah, kind of, oh speaking of munchie cheese you guys we do have a couple of them which are so cute look at these guys that these one actually awesome. you could put in his mouth it's got a little sick thingy yeah you could um and we got the little girl one right here but next to him oh here's another one but the one I do like is this 
pet monster. You could give a this was one of my favorite that. toys. My pet monster. I took him everywhere. <laughs> I think he's a little scary, but he's, he's missing his handcuffs. He sure is. Listen. So he might get out at night and get crazy, but <laughs> oh, we need yeah. the handcuffs. Yes. And oh my God. So moving what, along, you guys. What's underneath my pet monster? Oh my gosh. You guys remember who is this little crazy fellow? Uh oh. I think he's from Melmac, isn't he? Look at it. It's a hand puppet. It is. It's rocking elf. No other than elf. Oh my God. So we actually have a cool one. Little He's elf actually uh, section. Here. Yeah, you got a little elf section. We have like little hand puppets here. We actually have the big elf. The big elf is a uh, talking elf that takes a cassette tape. Cool. And then, oh, and I think Adam, we also have. What is this? Uh oh. We have elf. <laughs> the cake pan. The cake pans, which are pretty cool. Very nice. So, we got an, an elf cake. We gotta make an elf cake soon. I don't think the kids would know what that is, but oh wow. Let's move along here, shall we? Here we have our little friends from oh my gosh. I should say, where is he from? He's from some planet. We some don't planet. I don't know if where we know the planet? planet. Do we ever know what the planet is? What is the planet? We need to guys? figure that out. Or E. T. So if you guys grew up with us back in the 80s, we were very familiar with this little... When did he uh, come out? 1984? Oh, God, I think it was earlier. Or was it 82? When is 82? I think so. Yeah, which is pretty cool. And here, what do we have here, Adam? That is a little Michael Jackson E.T. Uh, cassette story. Which is pretty awesome. I don't and, see these. And uh, the, it originally came with a Michael Jackson E.T. poster. Yeah. Which is missing from our little set. But oh, it's pretty cool. Either it's pretty way, neat. It's still neat. It's nice to Listen to Michael Jackson tell the story of E.T. Right. <laughs> you know, so, they were buddies. Yeah, they were. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. What's below E.T.? But below E.T., you guys, we have our little collection of the palm puppies. Do you guys remember this? We had the pups pad. And we have one that's laying in there. It's just chilling cool. in He's there. Chilling in Looks like there's some there. babies hanging out on the roof. There's some babies here hanging, which are pretty cool. So these are pretty neat. Yeah. Which are these? These are so cool. But yeah, I, I hate, to, I hate to interrupt you here, but I think I see Michael Jackson what? hanging out in there. Oh, you do, you guys. Uh -oh. We have such a great 80s collection and albums, but we'll probably show them to you later. But yes, what Adam's referring to is our There's thriller. thriller. We have Thriller. And don't forget. That has to be the greatest selling album of the 80s. God, who cannot forget? Who cannot uh -oh. forget, right? Who is this popular It's the woman? material girl. The material girl. It's herself. So, yeah. So later on, you guys, we'll probably come back and show you guys our little collection that we have so far of the 80s. Oh, well, very so, nice. What else? Where else can we turn the two? Let's turn it to these guys up here. Those are pretty cool. These are some of my favorites uh, from the 80s. This is uh, Corky and Cricket. They're brother and sister, and they talk. They take cassette tapes. Corky and Cricket. And then look at this troll. He's from the 60s. You guys, I have to admit, I was not into the trolls as much as Adam is, but he's got a really cool collection of Let's, the trolls. I, I'm gonna just, if you want, I'm gonna move see. over here real quick, and let's look at our little troll collection. He's got such, so many collected and little. I mean, like I said, I was not really big into trolls. I know there was a lot of people that, but they're pretty cool. They're dressed up. They have different little outfits on, and he has so so many of them. Which are really cool, and hopefully later on, if we need to find a better way to display these trolls. Be, yes, a very as you can see, it's just cool a way. basket full. Yeah, he's got so many of them, which are cool. Look at this one. Look at this little one. <laughs> this little baby troll. Look at this guy. Hold on. <laughs> oh gosh. Isn't he cool? He's, he's cool. a troll. Like I'm not a troll. He's a. Person, uh, but you know what? I'm but he's sure a he's a reindeer yes. troll. Oh, that is that's true. That's exciting. Yeah. So. Yeah, hopefully, Adam, you can actually be able to display those uh -oh. on in the future. So moving along, what else can we show? Why don't you viewers? show the uh, the My Little Pony collection? Oh, my gosh, you guys. Who remembers the My Little Ponies growing up? Here is actually a lot of them. And I believe we have over 20 of them, if I'm 
That must be We it. probably have 20 of them. Is it 20 or is it more? They seem to be a little bit more. There we go. Mari just saved the day with the lighting. Yes, you guys. Lighting is a must here. We have so many cool um, little ponies that... And they're all in great condition. Where's the uh, the one that I like? Let me see. What's your favorite? It's a... Uh, it's a My Little Pony. Like Glory? It's a, Glory it's a, is my favorite. But I'm not sure. I think it might be that one back there with the pink or with the purple and little streaks. Well, I can't find my favorite. Well, we find we'll do a, a separate video of Adam's favorite, <laughs> favorite My Little Pony. pony. Well, he's, he's, no, what do you call is, that? He's actually am I a brony? Bro yeah, I think you're a brony. Then. I might be a brony. <laughs> Which is okay. <laughs> you know how frustrating it is when you can't find your favorite pony? Yes. So sorry to hear that, Adam. But you know what? I think maybe we it's move upstairs. On. Is it in the bedroom? <laughs> uh, we on. can definitely just move on right now. Let's, let's move. Let's, let's move up. Move let's move up. What do we got here? Yeah, oh, sure hold on. Before we get to these guys. Oh gosh, what is that? It's my J.R. Ewing beer from <laughs> Dallas. J.R. Who shot J.R.? That's what I want to know. <laughs> and look, there is a little My Little Pony hanging back there. Is he was he there put on purpose or? Oh, you know what? That's <laughs> my that, favorite pony. Is that see? Look at that's you my exactly favorite pony. Side, it's the guys. seahorse. <laughs> so yes, we don't is. have to do a separate video, there and it's go. not in the bedroom. <laughs> so there's Adam's favorite little. It's pony. the seahorse. Seahorse. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. So we did. We actually have a little. Ah, uh, I wish we had a bigger collection of Rainbow Bright. For those who don't remember, remember we do have. Oh, we're missing her little pal. Was it? What was her little pal's friend? I cannot remember. Gosh, so Unfortunately, I I wasn't a things? big Rainbow Bright guy, <laughs> but I can appreciate it. Yes, of course we can. Right. What is this? Snuggles. We have. Snuggles. Are you holding Snuggles? I am holding Snuggles. Oh, smells good. <laughs> but I could barely, I could barely smell because of that. Avon aftershave we put on earlier. <laughs> that, that's what I was going to say. What are we smelling the aftershave? So maybe that's what I'm smelling, actually. There's Snuggles just hanging out. And then uh, we have some uh, cool E.T. glasses. Yes, we do. And who's behind E.T.? And then those might be from Pizza Hut. Behind E.T. Yeah. is a, a Mugwai. That looks like a Mugwai. I do. Oh, my gosh. Gremlins, yeah. very exciting. He's not very appealing. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. know, I remember him being cute. Well, that one is just not. Uh, yeah. He, he. I think he's the brother. He's the brother. <laughs> he's the. <laughs> he's the brother. He, he's like Patrick Swayze's brother. Okay. Like from another mother, I think. Come on, let's move up. <laughs> let's move enough, up. enough got, of that. You got a cool troll. Okay, there. we're moving up into the ceiling of the basement. Oh God, so yes. So let's see. We live in an extremely old house and we're in the ceiling. Yeah, well, of course. Cause we have Here's a troll and he's huge. Mm -hmm. Isn't he cool? And he's wearing a uh, Cosby sweater. That looks like a Cosby sweater to me. But anyways, Teddy Ruxpin and his pal Grubby. And by the way, these uh, take cassette tapes. Well, Teddy Ruxman does, and his pal Grubby plugs into him. And there's a big bird that takes a cassette tape. All right. Let's move over to this shelf right here. What do we have? Annie? Who's sitting with Annie, Mari? Who is that? Oh, gosh. Can I see? Is that who I think? Is he? Is that the Fonz? It's the Fonz. <laughs> From the Happy Days, yes. And you know what? Next to Annie is one of my favorite toys or stuffed animals when I was a kid. I had this Mr. T. <laughs> and when I found this thing online a few years ago, you just don't understand how happy I was. Mr. T. Next to him is uh, Ed Grimley, right? Mm -hmm. And then who do we got? John Travolta hanging out with Bozo couple smurfs maybe yeah i see a guy that uh, i remember from thundercats right here oh gosh thundercats i forgot about that and then how about this talking dog did anybody have him i 
Okay, let's move on to some uh, Muppets. So many cool ones that you have there, Adam. Some of these are puppets. Some of these are McDonald's toys. Who's that, Snuffleupagus? Little Muppet collection. Little thermos for your Muppet lunchbox. All right, there are the Muppets. Do we have some Care Bears laying around here? I do. There we go. The Care Bears in their little Care Bear car that looks like a cloud. The little green giant next to this puppy. I used to take a bath with this guy. His ears would get wet. Actually, I never had one. There's a little lever on the back, and it makes his head spin, so it dries his ears off. Let's sit right back, and we'll hear a tale. <laughs> it's oh, the wow. Gilligan's the Island. Gilligan's Island, you guys. I think this might have been made by Play School. I think it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. We neat. got uh, Gilligan. We have the skipper. The skipper, and I think that's uh, Marianne back Where's there. There's Marianne. She's hanging out there. Where's the professor? We don't have the professor. The professor? I don't think they made the professor. <laughs> they picked their three favorites. I guess. <laughs> oh, they forgot about... How about these guys? The WWF. Before they had to change their name. To... To what did they change their name to? You know what? I don't, I don't remember. remember. After it ter it's after it changed that, from WWF. Yeah, it said that after the 80s, I, I, didn't really I watch. used to watch wrestling with my dad growing up, and that's all I remember was the WWF. After that, it's like, ugh, I stopped watching. <laughs> after the mid-90s, that was it. No more. We need Hulk Hogan, though, don't we? We do. We definitely need Hulk Hogan. And we need Andre the Giant. Yes. It'd be cool if we find him. Hopefully soon. There's the Jetsons hanging out. And some Fraggle Rock. Is that Fraggle Rock or is that? I don't remember. What are what are these guys from, everybody? Who knows? Let what us know it? in the comments. I thought it was Fraggle Rock. I think it is. All right. And what do you have down there? Down here we have a little uh, Barbie head where you can style her hair. We have a Smurf. We have some creepy little dolls. <laughs> and that one all the way at the end, she crawls. So isn't that exciting? Yes. Speaking of creepy dolls, what is actually pretty cool is this old one we have right here. You want to show that really sure. quick, Adam. It's the Jane and Jenny. Jane dolls, and Jenny doll. Which is pretty cool. Does she rock Jenny? I think she might rock her to sleep. Rocks her to sleep. It's pretty cool. We got Big Bird's stove right here. Oh, we have the Sesame Street house. Yeah, so who could forget? How many kids had this little thing here? Or these little Fisher Price? We have lots of Fisher Price barn toys, sets, which are pretty cool. I do. Speaking of Fisher Price, Adam, we will start showing our other rest of our Fisher Price toys. Let's see what we have over here. Are cool. How about that uh, phonograph? We need that for our 45s. The Fisher Price phonograph. So a four year old can play a vinyl album. Isn't that exciting? How about these? These are neat. Look at this thing. Count the chickens. Isn't that cool? And then over here, next to this Easy Bake Oven, we have this little owl that helps you tell time. Isn't that cool? And then of course the Easy Bake Oven. 
little uh, Disney organ. And then check out these televisions. Which are my favorite. But they play music. Especially the, the Smurfs one's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. You wind them up. And uh, the screen moves. Yes. Very cool. There's Godzilla. Watch out. How about this lunchbox right here? Howdy doody. Yeah, we do have a couple of more. I think we have a few more lunchboxes that we will be showing. Here. We'll show them right now. All right. Here we have the first lunchbox. It's Annie. Did you see Annie when you were a kid, Mari? I did. I actually love it. Remember I tried watching the movie the other day and you were... Did, you didn't want to watch it with me. Did I fall asleep? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh -oh. Always. <laughs> I always fall asleep. But anyways, <clears throat> on to the next lunchbox. Here we go. We got the Cabbage Patch Kids. That's exciting. This is when they said, you know what? These metal lunchboxes are hurting the kids. Let's make them out of plastic. And here I am. I'm still thinking, why didn't I have a Cabbage Patch Kid? <laughs> I still don't know why. You didn't have one? No, and I'm assuming, like I said, maybe back in those days, I'm sure they were really expensive. And they were sold out, probably. And they were all, always sold out. But again, my friends had them, so I'm still a little right. confused. Let's move on to the next. All right, we have the Muppets. Isn't that cool? I loved watching the Muppets when I was a kid, so. Sure did. Who was and, your favorite uh, Muppet? Uh, probably Kermit the Frog. Mine was Grover. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but as you can see, or maybe you can't see, but uh, these lunch boxes are almost in the ceiling of our basement. So almost. Yeah. It's kind of a hard shot to get. Yes. But here's the lunch box I had when I went to school. Masters of the Universe. Pretty cool. It's He Man. Here are some thermoses that need lunch boxes. Yes. And I still, hopefully we can find my strawberry shortcake one. I really like that one. I hope you get that strawberry shortcake lunchbox. And last but not least, Return of the Jedi. Isn't that cool? Let's pan down a little bit. Check out these awesome plastic banks. Yeah, those are pretty cool. And I think those are pretty old, too. They're neat. Look how big they are. Look yeah. at my hand next to one. Yeah, they're pretty old. You don't like them. You don't see them around too much. And then we have uh, Fievel from uh, An American Tale. And next to him is uh, the mascot to Lion's Bank. Lion's Bank is a local bank in the Chicagoland area. Okay, underneath that, we have some board games. In the 80s, you're, you guys aren't going to believe this. People actually played board games. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? All right. Next, we have an interesting group of items. How about that elf garbage can? Or these uh, Selectivision discs. How much money did you have to have to be able to buy Selectivision discs? Those are for the rich people in the 80s. <laughs> Some uh, play school toys. How about these? These are fun. And how many of you guys were fortunate enough to have one of these? Ooh. It's a pretty good condition. I really like the horse. Little kids didn't have cell phones. They had these horses that they bounced around on. Isn't that fun? Uh-oh, there's a ventriloquist doll that we forgot to show you earlier. It's Emmett Kelly, the clown. 
You can't have an 80s collection without uh, Castle Grayskull. Okay, everybody, I'll tell you what. In 1989, this is what my life was all about. Batman. And these are some of the toys that I had. We have the Batman Chopper. The Batmobile. The Batwing. The little Batplane. Hey, is that Jack Nicholson back there as the Joker? And here's uh, some toys moving from 89 into the early 90s. Is that Kevin? Did he finally uh, find his family? <laughs> There's the Simpsons. Of course, everybody's favorite neighbor, Steve Urkel. And don't forget about the teenage. The Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. Very nice. But we can't forget Adam, my uh -oh. favorite. Uh -oh. <laughs> Nin early 90s. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> da -na -na -na. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. I really got to just let people see that we finally <laughs> got these dolls and um uh, they're so cool. They're boxed. They're, I'm, I was shocked to know that they were still packaged well. So it's a good, it's a good buy for me. Yeah, we just added this to the collection. Yes, the I'm very excited. 902 and old doll collection. And I still want to get more pens, but the only one I got is the course of, of Dylan, right? Okay. Which, that's his whole, yeah. I really liked Luke, Luke Perry. I think he did a great job. But... Here's my question, though. Oh, gosh. What is your question, Mr. Why did why didn't they make a Steve doll? You're right. Or, or, why or Andrea? Andrea. Where's Andrea? And where's Steve? Where's, uh, wait, and what about David? Is he in there? David's well, there, right? I guess they could have made a David, right. but <laughs> Right. Let's um, move up. Let's move along then. How about a, a talking fifle? This is the talking fifle from American Tale. Mm -hmm. It's a little dark over here. It's a little dark. I'm trying to get the lighting for you guys. All right. And then a talking Mickey Mouse. This is from the Worlds of Wonder Company. And the one is not enough. We have a collection. This is in a display from the store. Which I think is pretty neat. Because you could just... And these took cassette tapes in the back. The world's first animated talking toys. Very cool. And you know, these uh, toys that took cassette tapes are some of my favorite toys. And like, you know, over here, my favorite though, of course, is little Corky. I know I already showed you Corky. But come on, we got to show you Corky again. He's the coolest of the cassette tape toys, I say. But the, a girl might say that uh, Cricket is cooler. But I think it's uh, Corky. Uh oh, there's Cricket again, <laughs> sneaking up on I, us. I tell, tell her why I have a problem with that. <laughs> I do have a problem with her. Well, because she doesn't, she needs an outfit. She does. She needs an outfit. Hey, Mari, get off the phone. We're doing a video. Oh, I gotta go now. I gotta go. Oh, sorry about that, you guys. Just talking to my old Snoopy Her phone. Her old childhood phone. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember these? Actually, I think these were my, this was my parents. And so um, they were getting rid of it. And so I told them that I would take it from them and take care of it. So you can see. I still even have the old area code from uh, Texas. Your so parents had cool. a Snoopy phone, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty <laughs> interesting. It's faded, though. Trying to get back its shine, but... I'm looking at something next to this Snoopy phone that was yours when you were younger. The Trapper Keeper. Oh, yeah, you guys. This was mine. <laughs> uh, whoever was friends with me back in the days will remember that I had these. And I think a lot of my friends had them, too. So it's the original. Um, and I've had it ever since. I don't remember what year I'm trying, if I'm guessing right, I probably was in the 
fourth or fifth grade. So, um, again, but, it's in good condition. I've had it for so long. Everybody had one of those. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The Trapper Keeper. Oh, yeah, I love it. What do we have down here on this chair hanging out? Well, we got our, our Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh stuffed yeah, animal a collection. Of, a lot of old ones, too. A, uh, and then we have Ninja a, Turtle. Ninja Turtle. He's from, there. he's from 1991, I yeah, believe. I do. How about this uh, bag on the wall? The bag is another McDonald's. It's a little backpack. It's a birthday party bag. I had my birthday party at McDonald's. It's pretty cool. Here's the Snoopy collection that continues. I do love Snoopy. I do remember having that snow cone machine, which I still want to get one again. I remember using it a lot growing up. And how many of you guys ate your Happy Meal in one of these things, huh? So cool. It's got these little earrings on here from McDonald's. But it's such in good shape, as you guys can see. And it still swivels. It's ready for another Happy Meal. Here are some California raisins. Just living it up. Hanging out with Michael J. Fox. Hey Adam, what are you doing? We're not even done video. We're not even done with the video. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, come on. I'm looking at this Michael Jackson book. The King of Pop. But you know what? Speaking of Michael Jackson, it's almost time to end the video. And one of our coolest items involves the King of Pop. Let's check it out. Follow me over here. This is the Michael Jackson Jackson's Victory Tour tour jacket. This was purchased at a Michael Jackson concert. See the Pepsi logo. 1984. This is the concert program. And this is my concert ticket from when I saw Michael Jackson in 1984. Oh, wow. October 14. That was the second concert I ever saw. The first one was Rod Stewart. Oh, wow. Only $28 to see Michael Jackson. With his brothers, with the Jackson 5. Pretty awesome. Actually, it was the Jackson 6 by that point. Very cool. Yeah. Michael Jackson's uh, air was on this jacket. His breath. It came off the stage into the crowd and got on this program in this jacket. Very cool. And one more thing. Even though this is the best item, let's look at this real quick. It's an autographed Hall & Oates poster. I saw Hall & Oates a few years back and we had to get it autographed. Well, everybody, we hope you enjoyed this tour back in time, back into the early 90s, late 80s. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We took a lot of time trying to show you guys everything, and hopefully we did that. Um, again, we'd just like to thank you guys so much for subscribing to our channel, sharing and liking. Um, we just hope that you tune in again. So hopefully we'll be able to show you something different in our collection. Yep, that's right. Well, until next time, thank you very much. Adios. Take care, guys. Nice.